Hi, my name is Anita Lowe and I am a chef and an avid angler. I'm obsessed with anything that comes from the ocean, especially that which is edible. So we're here to talk about hamachi, AKA yellowtail. This is a fish in the family of jacks and it's one of my favorites. We have gathered a group of 10 chefs from LA and New York City to help us understand how delicious this fish is and how versatile. Today we're here at Aquavit restaurant. This is a two Michelin starred restaurant. It's a Scandinavian restaurant helmed by Chef Emma Bankston. Chef Emma Bankston is incredibly talented. She was a pastry chef before this and she is from Sweden. I'm so excited to be here. Let's go in. Hi, Emma. Great to see you again. Good to see you, too. It's been, yeah. it been a long time. Yeah, I'm glad you're it. here. Yeah. <laughs> COVID got in the way. Um, I'm really excited to see what you did with the Japanese hamachi. Uh, you want to tell me what, what this is? Of course. I'd love to. So um, I decided to uh, do a little quick wet cure of it. So it has a little bit of that uh, bonito and uh, kombu. Uh, in the briny liquid to get a little bit of uh, omami flavor in there. And uh, I pair that with a sea thorn vinaigrette. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, pepper or chili, uh, lime and lemon zest uh, to just get a little bite to it. And then um, on top, I pickled some radishes because I, I love pickles, so got to sneak that in there somehow. Uh, apple brunoise for the crunchy part, and uh, some watercress and uh, dill fronds. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's thank gorgeous. you. So it's kind of, sort of like a Japanese meets Sweden. Swedish yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dish. Great. That's what Can I, I was hoping it? for. Yes, okay. please go. <laughs> go for it. Right. There we go. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> thank you. It works. Yeah, no, no it's <laughs> fantastic. Well, thank you. Yeah. I love the way that the acid and the sweetness from the sea buckthorn um, and the lime and all of that, and even the chili sort of balances the, the fat from the fish. Thank you. Yeah. It, the fish is like, it's so beautiful to work with because it's so fatty, but still melts so easily when yeah. you eat it. Yeah. Um, so I was really uh, surprised how easy it was to work with yeah. and, and combined with different ingredients. Is this farmed or, or wild? This is wild. Oh, uh, wonderful. Yeah, because it's the season right now. It's the, the so yeah, I get them, winter uh, season. Get them yeah. in fresh, fresh sides. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, they get, they get um, fattier in the wintertime. And um, yeah, that's incredible. What do you love about hamachi? I've eaten it a lot yeah. throughout the years, and um, I'm always so in awe of like how clean and pure the flavor of it is, and uh, just the texture and, and the fattiness and the it's almost like a soft butter uh, in a way. Fish butter. <laughs> Fish butter. <laughs> uh, and now actually getting to cook one and and, and butcher it down, it's. Uh, I almost felt like it would be a big fish, so I was a little bit surprised when it was smaller than I, I thought. You thought it was going to be big because of the thickness of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I thought it would be like a little bit, almost double in size. So when it came in, I was like, oh, this is, this is nice. And everything I've tried with it have worked it really well. Yeah, it cooks really nice as well, just because of that fat content. So. Yeah, and, and I'm looking forward to exploring the collar as well. Um, and, oh, and yeah. work with that and, and try that out as well. I've never done that, so. Oh, yeah, you can do that at the bar, yeah. Yeah, so I think that could be a, a, a cool supplement to the menu as well. Oh, yeah, at Anissa, we, we just ate ours. Hey. It was awesome. <laughs> well, 
it's amazing. But anyway, thank you so much. This has been oh, fantastic. You're welcome. Yep. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs>